I love receiving mystery parcels. Every piece of glass that's left on the doorstep, someone has thought about saving that piece of glass and it's something that's special to them. I've always enjoyed being creative. It was difficult being one of three girls, so I went down a more scientific route. I studied geology at Edinburgh. During the course, talked a lot about sand, silicon dioxide, rocks like obsidian, which are essentially glass. Glass is very controversial in itself, so there's a lot of arguments and a lot of discussion over four years, and I thought anything worthy of arguing about for four years is something I wanted to learn more about. Using glass now, I can analyse the glass. So if I purchase glass, I can look at the firing schedules, I can look at the exact chemical composition. But the glass that I use, be it car windscreen glass or television glass, I don't know the chemical composition. So I'll use my geology background with that to analyse the exact chemical composition of the glass. I've been working with glass for 25 years now. Casting for me works beautifully because I can interweave all the things I'm desperately passionate about. I wanted to try and choose a figure that was going to unite people. So I chose the robot figure. You look at the figure, it draws you in and you can ask questions about the glass itself and then actually ask questions about the future of glass. What's going to happen to it if we put it in the bin, if we put it in the recycling? So I wanted to try and engage with people, irrelevant how old they were, you know, two or 102, to ask questions about something that we use every day. It's ubiquitous. We look through it with spectacles. We look at television screens. It's in medical vials. It's all around us all day, every day. Cold working, which is a process where you polish it, is quite arduous and it can take weeks or months to do from start to finish. So if you're looking down at a figure that's smiling back at you, it doesn't feel like an arduous task. You enjoy doing it and they become your friends. They have names, they have personalities. You'll use a coarse 80 grit, so it might be on a recipolap, it might be on a diamond disc, it might be on a hand pad, and you'll go through all the stages of grit, all the way to pumice and cerium. So it's a very, very high polish. What's rewarding to me is how you can show something which is broken, but then polish it highly to that museum grade quality. That process, using recycled glass, is very much a labour of love. I find that the world of glass is very much a community and people have been incredibly kind and incredibly supportive. So by using the other artist's glass that might otherwise be disposed of, it was a way of bringing them all together. It's part of a big family, so I called it Whispering Sweet Nothings. Even though something's broken, people have sent you something which is very precious to them and it's important for me to honour that. So a girl recently sent a small medical vial, the contents of which were key to her recovery. It didn't weigh very much, it didn't even weigh a gram, it was very, very small and I was able to make a very small sweet nothing, but it was something which was so pivotal to her recovery. I love working with the impossible, facing challenges. I really, really enjoy that. So that the more complicated it is and the less I know about the glass, the more passionate about I am of trying to turn it into a sweet nothing. I'm used to geological time scale, so I'm used to working in millions of years. I enjoy the time I spend working with glass and I enjoy being able to interweave that with geology. I do find it meditative and I think about the origin of where that glass might have come from, not just has it come from someone reversing into a tree in Farnham, but I think about where did that glass come from. It's reinforced what I want to do. It's made me think about what my passions are. Being with friends, family, friends who've become family, cake, dogs, glass, recycling, sustainability. I want to bring people joy. I want to bring people together. I've got a lot of sweet nothings still to make. I've got lots of boxes of glass, which I'm desperate to continue casting. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. 